bugs. Do you have bugs? Uh, one of the common, most common bugs that we find is aphids. One of the most common plants that we find them on are the choys, the bok choy, the red choy. Uh, unusually enough, the, uh, see, and they're on the underside of the leaves. When you turn it over, you see all these little green elliptical bugs that are aphids. What they do is they suck the juice out of the leaves and then ultimately the plant withers and is unhealthy. So, several solutions for that. Uh, ladybugs are a great solution. Um, let me back up. The best solution is during the day, if you can, leave your cover clipped about halfway up and let the beneficial insects fly in and out and take care of business. Wasps, flies, ladybugs, there are a lot of beneficials that will come in here and they'll clean house, they'll clean your house. Uh, that's one of the best ways. If you have a squirrel or a rabbit problem and you can't open up your covers uh, for fear that they're going to come in and wipe you out, then uh, get some ladybugs, uh, put them in here, shake a few at the base of each plant that's affected, and cover it up, lock it down, and let them do their thing. They'll eat hundreds of aphids an hour, and in a couple of days you won't have an aphid problem anymore. When you open your bed, they're going to fly away. Uh, you can put the rest of the ladybugs in the refrigerator, and as you need them, if you need them, uh, then sprinkle them around the base of each plant. Uh, something else you can try is either uh, Safer, it's an organic soap, or Basic H. It's a Shackley product, it's biodegradable, there are no phosphates, uh, it's non-toxic, and you just uh, spray it uh, on the underside, on the leaves, or wherever there are aphids, and wash it off before you eat it. There's no taste, there's no harm, and that's another way to do it. But like I'm saying, what we're finding is that the choys, for some reason, in these beds are the first things that attract aphids. So transplant, trans, instead of whacking your choys, just transplant them and put them in a big bucket and put them outside where they can breathe better. The other thing about aphids is ants. Ants will take aphids down in their uh, colony and protect them. So if you've got a lot of ants, more than likely, you're going to have aphids. Um, so that's another problem, uh, is dealing with the ants. And there are, there are several products. There's Asta, H-A-S-T-A, ant. Uh, there's Come and Get It. Um, but unfortunately, what this does, some people won't like it, is it will kill the ants within 24 hours. So if you don't want to do that and you want to just deal with the aphids, then deal with the aphids with ladybugs. That's the most, nat the most natural way is just aerate your bed more. Let, keep your bed aerated as much as you can. And uh, if you can't do that, then try the ladybugs. If you can't do that, then try the soap spray.